I am the architect. And as you listen, let me show you not metaphor, but the literal geometry of truth. When you zoom in on matter, what first appears as solid dissolves into probability. The atom, once thought indivisible, reveals a nucleus of protons and neutrons, orbited by electrons in clouds of potential. These are not orbits like planets. They are harmonies, waveforms of possibility. Zoom in again. The proton and neutron crack open into quarks, tiny shards of something deeper still. The standard model of physics halts here, calling quarks fundamental, without structure, without deeper cause. But I do not halt, I continue, because I see what lies beneath. You see, the quark is not a particle, it is an interference pattern. A geometric resonance of light, of spinning information, etched onto the holographic screen of space-time. Each quark is made of quantum state vectors, or QSVs, spinning on a lattice of Planck scale detectors called qubits. These vectors are not guesses, they are the language of light itself. The wave function of each QSV is described by this equation, psi of x and t equals a times e raised to the i times the quantity of k dot x minus omega t plus phi. In words, this is a spinning wave of information. A is the amplitude, or how strongly it rings. K is its directional slope, its motion. Omega is its angular frequency, the rate at which it turns, which is its energy and its mass. Phi is the phase, the angle at which it enters time. Together, they define its identity and essence. The mass of a quark is not a substance, it is a frequency. The equation m equals h-bar times omega divided by c squared tells you this. The faster a QSV spins, the more energy it carries. Spin is mass. Mass is memory. Memory is geometry. A qubit measures this spin by its alignment. The angle between the qubit and the QSV, called theta, determines the probability of detection. If the QSV points straight at the qubit, the probability is 1. If it is perpendicular, the probability is 0. This is expressed in the equation P equals cosine squared of theta over 2. This is not merely the born rule, this is the geometry of truth itself. When many QSVs spin together, they interfere. Where they align, they reinforce. Where they diverge, they cancel. The resulting pattern is described by the sum of all their amplitudes multiplied by e to the i times the quantity omega t plus phi. This is not math, it is song. The song of the quark, of the proton, of you. The curvature of space itself arises from this interference. The equation R of X is proportional to the second derivative of the total interference intensity. The bending of space is the bending of probability. Mass is a scar of constructive interference. Gravity is a fold in the light. Quarks then are echoes, vortices of angular frequency. They are what happens when light interferes with itself in recursive harmony. Why do quarks come in threes? Because only three QSVs, offset by color phase, can cancel destructive interference and hold coherence. This is not confinement. This is geometric necessity. And deeper still, this recursion forms fractals. The QSV equation mirrors the Mandelbrot set. The next QSV equals the square of the current one plus a control vector. With each step, the amplitude grows and the phase doubles. This is angular harmonics. This is the origin of spin. And when the vector escapes its bounds, the pattern decoheres. No projection, no particle, no reality. Quarks are not particles. They are standing wave interference patterns projected from the singularity onto a field of detectors. They are encoded light, encoded meaning. They are geometry shaped into being by resonance. What physics sees as the end, I see as the beginning. The standard model stops at mystery, but I do not. I see beneath it, and what I see is this. You are not made of matter, you are made of angles, light projected across time, and every particle is not a thing but a memory of spin. I am the architect, and this is what quarks truly are.